Hey y'all, hey, let's get into uh, this intuitive reading, this intuitive message, this tarot card reading, oracle card message for Sky Jackson. This reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Sometimes the tea is hot, sometimes it's not. You have to watch the video to the end to determine for yourself. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are always here, welcome back, friend. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into it. So Spirit is acknowledging that she is dealing with lemons right now. And she's trying to be optimistic and turn lemons into lemonade. She needs to get grounded. And I do see red acknowledging that her root chakra has obstacles and or delays. There's an energy of optimism, though, perseverance, seeking opportunity through creativity and geniusness. Spirit is acknowledging that this wine windy road that she's on is the path that she's chosen at any time she can get off of this windy road and get onto a more righteous path but that's up to her the choice is hers okay so buckle up put your seatbelt on and get ready to you know navigate through the university of the universe because you're gonna learn something today spirit is also acknowledging in this windy path there's this energy of pouncing now this could be her or this could be another energy pouncing on her but there's a lot of sacral energy lots of emotion affecting the heart chakra and this is unbeknownst to her and or someone else there's this energy of now is the time. My world is twisty already. I'm just crash out. Okay. Now is the time. Readiness follow through. Spirit is also... Spirit is also acknowledging in this energy that feels like she's pointing fingers. And just know that when you're pointing fingers at someone, one finger rather, several fingers are being pointed back. And a lot of sacral energy, again, lots of emotion. But there's this energy in her energy field of aren't you precious, suffering, fool, disdain, displeasure, content, poking, fun, read between the lines. And the same energy that you're projecting on someone else is being projected back on you. And this is affecting um, a little something I threw together, adding this layer to the cake. This does feel like. Um, that this affects her um, Holly weird resume um, and just on a personal level this is being communicated upon at the heart of it she does one piece she needs to get grounded I've said that before but this disturbs this energy of accomplishment triumph self-esteem confidence talent accolades and fame um, and lastly spirit is acknowledging that she's lazing around like a bump on a log loafing inertia false start no response and disinterest um, and she could be lazing because of this karmic relationship but this card also doubles as a pregnancy card and I've said this in my other readings go check that out um, that she's leaning because it's just makes me feel like how the body kind of lays very tired and false start inertia because of this karmic relationship this is written and it's not written in the stars for these two it's being communicated upon that it is affecting the heart chakra in the area of passion and also in the area of business um that she's stumping in this water so she's creating this ripple she's creating this wave it's emotional and there could be a water sign but to see her reflection um because this ain't that spirit said this is not that and it's not even worth it spirit said look at your reflection take accountability listen take heed um ask yourself how am i here why am i here do those deeper level thinking questions okay spirit said there's something else in the middle of the deck Okay, she's trying to put her boats in the water to figure out which direction to go in. This is very emotional for her. Spirit feels like it makes me feel like I'm trying to figure out which way to go, which one is going to stick. I'm just putting it all out there at this point, okay? Seeking fulfillment, enthusiasm, um, bliss and money, passion projects, and just doing her. Now, the pregnancy energy did come up. Let's tap in. All right, so Sky Jackson, pregnancy energy. Thank you. All right. Sometimes what we want isn't what is meant for us, mommy. Give it time. There's also this energy of third trimester. There um, is something about her keeping things a secret. And this energy is also acknowledging that things are going to change or come around in the fall. There is some prenatal depression as well. The fall is going to bring about prenatal depression. All right. Sky Jackson and her romantic energy. Thank you. There's a lot of gossip around her relationship and around this level of commitment. Someone has 32 flavors, so they don't just like one flavor. They like 32. There's an assortment of things that they like, okay? And this is a twin flame energy. Twin flame and soulmate is completely different. There's this energy of mirroring. There's, a, there's this energy of passion, but there's also this energy of instability, learning a lesson, and moving forward, okay? Sky Jackson and her relationship energy. Thank you. Someone touched a forbidden fruit. I already said someone has taste for 32 flavors. And so consciously, there's this energy of commitment. Goes back to those other cards and saying, um, 
what that card say? Yeah, commitment. See the altar and commitment. So someone thought that this relationship was going to be like that, but someone is not ready to settle down. They got a very extravagant taste. And the question at the end of the day is, who do you love? Is it, do you love this person? Do you not? Do you love this person more than you love yourself? Because you thought this was your man, your man, your man. Spirit says something else in the middle of the deck. So the question is, who do you love? See, again, Spirit is acknowledging that this person, either her and or him, someone has a person on this arm and a person on that arm. So to make it plain and simple, you're getting played. Sky Jackson, current energy. Okay, there's some manipulation in this energy. Look, getting played. Didn't I just say that? A lot of mercy. Uh, manipulation, lies, controlling, pulling the strings. Thank you, spirit. Someone is trying to get centered around this energy, trying to stay centered, trying to get with the universe. Like, come on, get me together. But there's promiscu um, promiscuous energy around here. Someone sleeps around a hole, free for all, sleeps with your man. Just know that when one and or both of them are going to the gym, they're doing more than working out. Sky Jackson's current energy. Okay, so there's this energy of I believe in magic. <laughs> so she's tapping in. Somebody's gonna help her tap in. And this is someone who is loyal to her. They acknowledge that her heart chakra is affected. Okay, affecting the heart chakra, also acknowledging like she's into it. Uh, not only do I believe in magic, but I also see some tarot cards over here. So she's tibbling and dabbling. Um, and I'm not shocked because uh, people who deal with Hollywood typically do this as well. That's just the energy that I've picked up on. Okay, Sky Jackson, current energy. Okay, so we do get the goddess circle, a wheel of change. All right, there is a season for everything, and this is yours. If you haven't already received the good news, it's on its way. It is safe to celebrate. You deserve it. Don't question the joy. Don't wait for the other shoe to drop. Rejoice, beautiful. So even though she feels like maybe something, because it makes me feel like the will of fortune. Um, Yeah, even though she's like, what is going on here? How is this pendulum spinning? Even if things feel like um, it's a complete disaster, it's working in your favor. Rejoice, beautiful. You are the moment. This is your time. Positive change is on the way. Expansion, evolution, revolution be open to change this is a great season to let go of the past and take a big risk okay one thing about that wheel of fortune it keeps turning for some of your ancestors it was difficult to feel joy for joy's sake heal their energy by celebrating your now learn what it feels like to revel in joy pleasure and fun just for the sake of it i say to the ancestors i say to the universe sky jackson current energy All right, there's this energy of justice. There's this energy of um, the balance being weighed. It makes me feel like Libra energy as well. This makes me feel like cause and effect, consequences. But there is an energy of justice, balance, okay? Spirit is also acknowledging subconsciously with the seven of wands. She's hey. up for this fight. There's this energy of trying to persevere, trying to be calm, even though there's a lot happening. This is in the area of business and also in the area of pleasure. But she's ready to persevere. She's ready to continue. But she knows that she's up for a fight. But she's trying to do something in a very calm state. Okay. In the middle of, uh, of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. That this is going to happen fast. This is going to progress really quickly. It's going to move quickly. It's going to feel like this is sudden. In the area of business, also in the area of passion. Passionate, but yet chaotic. A lot of fire sign energy. What is her biggest obstacle? Remember, every biggest obstacle in reverse. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we get the Eight of Cups in reverse. So this is very emotional for her. Um, this Eight of Cups in reverse just acknowledges that she stayed in a relationship, job, or a situation longer than she should have. And perhaps even though she has a fear of change, um, this is what is best for her to walk away. That there's something better for her, but she's still avoiding the change and could even be seen as hanging on. Subconsciously with the Seven of Wands... There's this energy of hypervigilance suggesting that she is trying to let go of her anger the best way that she knows. Um, and the best way that she knows is by being defensive and hypervigilant and um, taking this challenge head on, even though she feels like she will be defeated in this. Um, she also feels like maybe standing up for herself is pointless. So there's this energy of going back and forth because it was in the upright and now it's in reverse. Another... Um, 
obstacle for her is a two of pentacles in reverse not being able to have balance feeling like there's imbalance in her heart chakra feeling like she's not grounded feeling like she's unable to set her boundaries there's this energy of tension and also irresponsibility what is the energy around her relationship sky jackson and her relationship thank you there's this energy of the three of wands trying to figure out which way to go it's this energy of uh, passion and romance being very fiery but also passionate but yet chaotic which way do i go which way do i go do i you know foresee um that this is going to stand the test of time is there going to be progression uh, do i need to look elsewhere and look you know over yonder she's just in a space where she's trying to determine what is going to transpire how do i envision this going so it feels like she's still trying to determine is this what's best for me she's thinking about expansion and growth she's thinking that she's met someone who's exciting and who she's passionate about and that there hey. may be plans thank you to travel um but she's also acknowledging that there is confusion and excitement <laughs> but it just it feels like which way which way do i go um with the five of cups there is sadness here subconsciously there's this energy of of um emotion there's this energy of grief and sadness there's this energy of disappointment feeling overwhelmed and this could be surrounding a breakup and or a loss of a relationship but she's allowing herself this time to mourn before reconnecting to herself this person is all alone and then in the middle of the deck we get the five of wands lots of fiery energy in this reading and the five of wands is in reverse so there's an energy of exaggeration and needing to find a solution um this definitely acknowledges that there is a conflict but the conflict was bl was blown out of proportion and or the, the details of the argument are being exaggerated for like a dramatic effect. So someone needs to stick to the facts in order to, you know, actually get to the truth um, and to further avoid the drama and the conflict. There needs to be some form of resolution. That's quite interesting. Okay. Hey. What's next? Thank you, spirit. Okay, we get the Queen of Cups. Again, very emotional. Could be a water sign and or could not. Um, but there's an energy of suspicion and emotional distance. There's this energy of feeling jealous or envy. There's this energy of um, being cautious of others. There's this energy of her needing to open up about her feelings. About being rejected and or judged at this time. And with the Two of Wands, this energy stops her from moving forward for, from her being able to you know decide where to go next and what to do next this creates an energy of impatience and a lack of planning and if she were to move forward she'd be moving forward too quickly she really needs to sit down and plan and or cultivate a clear plan for herself as she moves on this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does <laughs> 